Hello everybody. You should have just watched the video on what a reciprocal is and how to find it. I just want to do a couple quick examples again with you and point out something about reciprocals that you may not have noticed from the video. So 5, 6, I got a fraction. Pretty straightforward. If you have a fraction, all you got to do is switch the top and bottom. So the reciprocal of 5 sixths is going to be 6 fifths. Okay. Please notice if your initial fraction is a proper fraction, the reciprocal will be improper. If this is less than one, this will be more than one, and vice versa, right? Because what makes something an improper fraction is if the top number is bigger than the bottom one. Okay? So that means if you switch them, that would mean the bottom bigger than the the bottom is bigger than the top. Okay. So whenever you're dealing with reciprocals, one will be more than one, and the other will be less than one. All right, four sevenths. If I that's a whole number, so I can think of it as being over one. I flip that, I get one forty seventh. For a mixed number, these are the only ones that really require any work here. Uh, these we got to turn into an improper fraction first. So remember how to do that. Three times eight is twenty four. Plus three is twenty seven. So I get twenty seven eighths, and then I can flip it upside down. I get eight twenty sevenths. Biggest mistake I'll see people do is they try to make, say it's three and eight thirds. Well, if you're doing that, you're only finding the reciprocal of part of the number. You're not finding the reciprocal of the whole thing, right? So you didn't do anything with the three. So we cannot just flip the fractional part. We gotta make the whole thing a fraction, an improper fraction in this case, and then flip it, okay? On your homework, you're gonna see some questions that look like this, five, six, times n equals 1, and as you figure out what n is. Now, we're going to be talking more about this later, but the idea that this is using is that any time you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you get 1. Okay, And we're going to see why when we get into the multiplication piece. But any time you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you get 1. So the problems that look like this, 5, 6 times n times some number equals 1, you're just going to... Um, well, all you're really trying to do is find the reciprocal of this. Okay, so n in this case would be 6 fifths. Okay, if it's 47n equals 1. Okay, so 47 times n, n just needs to be the reciprocal of this number, so it would be 147. So the ones that look like this, you're just finding the reciprocal of the number you're multiplying by. Okay. So hopefully those won't throw you uh, too much. And ask if you have any questions on them. Good luck.